Hello and welcome to my channel, Cotton Level 9. Giving you well, my, my farewell to Call of Duty Black Ops. Um, I thought I'll show you uh, the best game I've ever done on Hardcore Team Deathmatch, or even in Core Team Deathmatch. Um, I got 31 for 8 <coughs> uh, with the end field with a red dot sight, and I've never reached 30 in Team Deathmatch in Black Ops. Done it in headquarters, done it in domination, but in TDM, nah. I used to reach, I used to get into the I, I 20s before, but never in the 30s. And now I thought I'd show this. Modern Warfare 2, it was different, you know, I sort of reached the 30s, usually, usually at least once a night, and then the, in the 20s thereafter. But, yeah, so. <coughs> Black Ops, we've had many a good time, many a frustrating time this past year. Uh, yeah, it's it's just one of them games, and it you know when it works, it's a fantastic game. But when it don't work, it's an absolute nightmare. <laughs> it is very frustrating game. You know, you never know when when you turn your Xbox on or whatever, and you you put the game in, and you never know what sort of what sort of day you're going to have. Um, but I, I have fundamentally enjoyed it, and I'm gonna miss miss it. <coughs> I'm gonna miss this game. I really am. Um, I'm not gonna play it again. Um, I've got. I bought Modern Warfare. Well, I'm getting Modern Warfare Three. Um, I've already pre-ordered that. I've got Battlefield Three now, so I'm playing that. So I, I won't be posting any more Black Ops footage. Um, I I'll, I'll probably will still play it up until Modern Warfare 3 comes out. Just to try and get 15 prestige at the moment. I'm sort of level 38 full team. So um, if I play more good games like this, I'll, it won't take me long to get to 15th. But um, I sort of can't really get into it at the moment. Um, Probably because you know I've got Battlefield 3 now, so I want to play that. But yeah, no, let's just talk about the game. As I said, you know, it is a, it can be quite a frustrating game, as we all know. You got the lag issues. <coughs> as we all know, we've got the lag issues and that. Um, but apart from that, it is a really good game. The graphics is phenomenal. Um, it's a shame it's part of the Call of Duty franchise, to be honest. Um, because this is a very, really good standalone game, and if this wasn't part of the Call of Duty franchise, it might have been able to sort of have its own sort of following. Um, but at the moment, you've got obviously you've got two cams. You've got the Battlefield cam, you've got the COD cam, and God, the Battlefield cam won't fine. like don't like this game purely because it's a COD game, which is a bit a bit of a shame, really, because I think this this is a standalone game. I think this this would, would have done pretty well. Maybe even full its own franchise. But never mind. Um, I think, you know, obviously the Call of Duty franchise has reached a fork in the road. You've got the Modern Warfare um, deal with Vinny Ball and Sledgehammer and that. Now you've got the Black Ops with the Triarch. Um, whether Triarch will bring out <coughs> another Black Ops, not Black Ops 2, I don't know. I haven't read anything. Um, to say that they are, but um, you would have thought there would be another card game coming out next year. And normally, the way it works out, normally Treyarch who deal with it. But I don't know. Will there be another Call of Duty game um, next year? Uh, form suggests that there will be, but I've not not sort of read. It. But you uh, never know. Maybe you. Activision will take a two year break and try and um, exploit Modern Warfare 3 for all they can. Uh, you don't know. Um, maybe so as the as we get into the new year, into 2012, maybe we will find out if there will be a second Black Ops or another Call of Duty game. Um, I hope not. I hope they take their time with the new one, um, 
I know the Modern Warfare 3 engine's really good, but I'd like to see a second Black Ops, to be honest. Because um, this is a, it is a good game. Fundamentally enjoyed it. But, yeah, you, you just never know. You just never know. Yeah, um, yeah I, as I was going saying about so, this game, the, the, the good thing about this game is what is sort of, you know, really good for you know, not just your average gamer for but for your YouTube directors as well is the th the theater mode because it isn't all every time you can stick the PVR on and record as hours and hours of footage. No, the theater mode has really helped. Um, even for your your average game mode, don't post things. No, don't post things on the internet. It's it's really good, you know, because you can save games that you have a fan. You know, when you have a fantastic game or a fantastic kill, you can save it for, for prosperity, or you can save it for later so you can record and upload it on the net. It's a, it's a great, great option to have, and I think they got it in Modern Warfare 3 as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. It's it's a good concept. Um, you know, they should bring this out for other first-person shooters as well, really. Um, I don't, you know, I think Battlefield missed a trick there, but never mind. Um, oh, you know, also, what, what, what else can I say about this game? Um, the guns are fantastic, detail in the guns are fantastic. Uh, let me just go through, through some of my favourite guns. The Enfield, as I'm using now, it's it's a good weapon. It's particularly in the early levels, when you unlock this at level 8. It's a good weapon up until you sort of get unlocked the the Galils, the AUGs, and that sort of thing. Um, the the AUG um, that took me a while to get used to, but I've thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, what else do I like? Um, the Galil, mm, it's okay. I do use it. I've started using it a little bit more now, but um, it's yeah, it's not a bad gun. The FAMAS. I don't really... I've never really enjoyed the FAMAS. I've sort of used it in between, but I've never really enjoyed using it. Um, the FNFAL, as I keep going on in the other videos. As you see, I'm 23 for 7 now. You know, it's a phenomenal weapon, the FAL. I love that weapon. The M14, I'm starting to, <coughs> starting to get into. Unfortunately, it's a bit late for me to really enjoy the M14. As the L96A1, um, it's taken me most of the year to finally master, well, take master, but to get used to, to the sniping in this game. It's actually took me forever, and it's a shame because I do like the L96A1. Um, I've started to really enjoy sniping in this game. Um, it's just a shame it's taken me so long, and I won't have the chance to enjoy it any further. Is a shame. Um, what other weapons are like? Uh, the, yeah, the Strela 7. Um, always had that as my secondary weapon when I'm running around with the assault rifle. Or the Law, you know, if I haven't unlocked the Strela yet. Uh, it just gives you that extra XP, don't it, when you shoot down the spy planes and the choppers and that. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for, for the weapons. I mean, the Stoner for the light machine guns is uh, a fantastic gun. Fantastic gun. Um, yeah, um, here we go. We come up to the end of the game now. Um, hope you've enjoyed the gameplay. And please uh, like, comment, subscribe. Give us some of your stories on um, on Black Ops. Uh, you know, if you enjoyed the game, if you didn't. Um, yeah, cheers, guys. And um, I'll catch you again next video. Probably be a vlog, but uh, next one will be. Uh, next gameplay video should I say rather will be uh, Battlefield. Okay guys, thanks for watching, cheers, bye.